Doing great, doing great. So I know we talked with you a few weeks ago when you first got here, you were kind of getting familiar with Dylan and all the other quarterbacks. Now you've been out there in spring practice for a couple of weeks, just working with Dylan on the field. What are your, what are your impressions of working with him? What's that been like? Yeah, I think he's a guy, uh, first off, his leadership qualities are off the charts. Um, he's got a great arm, um, great accuracy. Um, he moves better than you think. Uh, I think extending the plays, getting outside of the pocket, throwing on the run, maybe is a strength. Um, he's a real guy. You know, we knew that going into it, you know, watching the film, and, um, but he's a real guy. Morning, Coach. Uh, Andrew Gluco, Black and Go Banneret. Uh, one of the problems that uh, Dylan Gabriel had last year was uh, playing under pressure when they were really stacking the line, breaking through the line. Uh, he really struggled on, on his timing and mechanics. Uh, how's his maturity from the film you've seen to what you're seeing now in spring track practice has helped with alleviating some of that issue? Yeah, I'm not sure uh, on that just because I wasn't here last year, but uh, he's been great so far. Uh, you know, he's been cool, calm, and collected. Uh, I think we're just laying the foundation as an offense, and and uh, he's getting out there and he's executing at a high level, so I'm, I'm very happy with his performance so far. TJ, I, I, I'm side of Dylan. Obviously, you guys got to focus on finding someone to back him up. Maybe it could be a solid backup. What have you seen from some of the guy, younger guys and some of the guys like Quadri who've been around for a while? Yeah, Quadri's been uh, – he's been great so far. He's great attitude every day. Um, you know, he's kind of a veteran guy in the room. Um, he's kind of taking those other guys under his wing. I think the, his teammates really respect him. You can tell that. Um, he's got uh, great athletic ability. I mean, he can, he can throw on the run. He can run. Um, he can tuck it down if it's not there and run. So I think he's, he's been solid so far. Uh, I think Parker's another guy that, um, you know, his athletic ability flashes. He's still a young guy, so he's still processing everything. And then Mikey is another guy that's come in here and he's done everything right. You know, he knows exactly what to do on every play. Um, he's just got to continue to, to, to get stronger and faster and continue to build his arm strength and, and all the little things. I mean, he's like 17 years old, so he, he's going to continue to get better. He should be going to like the prom or something in the next couple of weeks or something. So he's good. Coach, how would you describe this offense and what are you looking to see Dylan do to fit better into it? I don't think he's have to fit better into anything. I think he's he fits it perfectly. We're going to uh, build it around him. Um, we're going to be a run play action team, uh, take care of the football. He's going to throw it 50 times a game if we need to. Um, and he's going to protect the ball and he's just going to play quarterback. That's what he's going to do. He's going to do it at a high level. And, uh, and he's done that so far. GJ, Jason Beattie with 24 seven sports. You guys just had your first scrimmage on Saturday. Gus said you guys went about 97 plays. What did you think of Dylan? Uh, you know, running in the scrimmage, maybe quadri in the scrimmage. What did you think of those guys? Yeah, I think um, all of them, they were solid. I don't think anyone was uh, uh, just great. Um, still a learning curve for them, learning a new system. Um, but the effort's there, the talent's there. Uh, we just got to continue to keep on uh, building on that foundation and continue to execute at a high level. Coach, I know you just got here. You're still learning about the guys, but you know, for Dylan, he's going to be a junior the, this year after a couple of seasons that um, had really two two good seasons, freshman and sophomore. What changes when someone is an upperclassman when they're more experienced? Maybe you can speak from personal experience for you as a quarterback. Did, did something change, maybe just from a leadership standpoint, or? Yeah, I think uh, just confidence. I mean, he's gone out and he's executed at a very high level. He's won a lot of football games around here. Um, he's the guy. There's no question about that. So uh, I think it's confidence um, and, and just the leadership ability. You know, guys listen to him. You know, sometimes when you're a young guy, you don't know, can I, can I speak up? Am I stepping on someone's toes? But he's, he's the guy, and uh, he's got those guys um, going at a high level, and O-line respects him, receivers respects him. When he talks, everyone listens. So I've uh, been very, very pleased with him. GJ, one of the things that Dylan has, has improved on over the last couple of years is mobility, is being able to run with the football when things kind of break down. How important is that and how much of a factor do you think that's going to be in the offense you guys want to try to run? Yeah, I think it'll just be a game plan type deal. Um, take what the defense gives us. But he has shown that he can. he's more than capable of tucking the ball and running. Um, he's, he's very athletic. Like I said, I think his strength, though, is probably uh, outside the pocket running and dishing the ball and scrambling. Um, but, you know, Zone read stuff. He's been great so far. 
Is it your hope to come out of spring uh, spring camp with a clear depth chart at the quarterback position? Uh, you know, I, I think more importantly is just the foundation. We're laying the foundation so those guys can continue to, to compete in the summer. And so when they get out there in the summer, when they're on their own, they're not developing bad habits. They know exactly what we want. They're going through their drops. They're going through their reads. They can work with each other. I think that's the main focus out of spring right now is, like Coach says, just laying that foundation so when the summertime comes around, they can get some quality work. GJ, uh, Gus has said you guys haven't really touched on much of the playbook yet. It's about laying that foundation, as you've been saying. What do you think the biggest challenges when you guys do implement uh, the playbook are going to be for uh, the quarterbacks and really everybody else in the offense? Um, I'm not sure uh, challenges as far as like uh, the type of play. I think it's, it's going to be more just the um, – uh, the, the amount of plays, just retaining the information and because uh, it is new, retaining the information and being able to go out there and execute at a high level. But so far, so good. You know, like I said, we're just building the foundation, but they've been able to retain everything and, and been great. GJ, what, you know, you talked about Dylan's obviously his leadership and, and, and what he's kind of taken on that role of, of, of commanding the, the, the quarterback room. What would you like to see him do in the summertime? What, what does he need to do maybe to kind of to take on a bigger role in that room? Yeah, I think just develop the chemistry with those receivers. You know, I think there are some new faces he's probably throwing to, you know, maybe guys that have been here but haven't been in that top spot. And so just continue to build that relationship with those guys. And so when we go to fall camp, those guys are, are, are really uh, uh, executing at a high level as far as their chemistry goes.